the early 1910s, Carl Jung had been plagued for days and days by a voice in his head. He felt like he was going insane. This voice wasn't even his own. It was the voice of a woman that he knew in his professional life. It'll all come to pass. You must accept it. She was a Dutch psychologist who always argued with him that repairing people's minds was not a science. This is art, my dear. And so Jung sat down and wrestled with this experience, night after night. He tried to use the knowledge of psychoanalysis to figure out what was wrong. Perhaps my unconscious is forming a personality that isn't me, but is insisting on coming through into expression. This fits perfectly with my scientific training. No, no, no! Stop! Stop insulting me! It's just a voice in my head. It's not unusual. Socrates had a voice in his head. Aquinas had a voice in his head. Fine reason. This is no different. They could speak with theirs. They, they could have a dialogue. Okay, okay. Who are you, and why have you been bothering me the past few nights? What do you mean, bothering? You've spent years well, in the recesses I? of your mind, pondering and planning to write a great work, which will impress them. What, what, what is happening? You want them to revere you like they revere Nietzsche and Goethe. You want to do this with your science. science. You want to take slow, safe steps and follow the respected way. Yet, I could help you do it if you only let me in. But you treat me as an object you can study from a safe distance. As if you are terrified of me. But I am the source of revelation. Wait, wait, one second. Who are you? <laughs> Carl. I am your soul, and you've been very disrespectful. Wait, wait, you, you have to be joking with me, this is crazy. What? Ask yourself if you think I am joking. You already understand enough. The knowledge is already within you. You just need to transform it into life. You need to live the new way. I thought she released me. I was finally gifted a calm night's sleep, but as I drifted off into rest, I was informed by the deepest spirit within me that the next night I would begin my descent into the underworld.